Digram has recently introduced its new Canvas Edit tool, which gives users more control over their image than generation process. With this tool, you can manipulate, resize, and layer images seamlessly on an infinite canvas, making it easier to create and refine complex designs. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Canvas Edit tool to unlock new possibilities in your creative workflow. Let's dive in. So, this new tool is actually available only for the paid plans. So once you register log in your account, go to Edugrams on screen and you will find the Canvas beta icon on the left menu. Press on it and this will take you to an infinite canvas page where you can enter your prompt at the top. The prompt that I'm going to use is cute turtle fishing in a lake looking over his shoulder and uh, I'm going to press the generate button. And these are the four images that I got since I did not change or mention the colors of the image. So I got three colorless image and one with colors. And if you press on any of the images, you can see that you have the uh, option to move it around flexibly. So I'm going to delete these ones and stretch the one that I like in the middle of the canvas. Again, the canvas is infinite and you can use it as big and as much as you can. And on the right side, there is the, the prompt that I used and the magic prompt that is automatically generated by Edugram. Also, you can open this menu to download the, the image if you want. You can edit the canvas title. So again, if you press on the generate button, the, all the options that have been generated will appear on the right side. So if we press on the magic fill, another menu will appear. This menu allows us to select part of the image and edit it either with a new prompt or with just writing part of the prompt that is going to be used for the selected part. We can use one of the tools available like this lasso tool. I'm going to draw on it with the lasso tool and press on next and this will open the magic fill button. So you can either leave the whole prompt as is and add part the new part at the end or just add wearing sunglasses separately and press on the generate button and this will add sunglasses to or eyeglasses to the turtle. So only the selected part has been edited. And if you press on the image, you can see all the generated images appear on the right side. Again, Edugram always generates four images. So this one is the one that I like. I'm going to choose this one and continue editing the image. So let's press on the magic fill button again. Using the lasso tool, I'm going to select the upper part of the image to add some text and press on next. And then I'm going to write a prompt to add, add text weekend mode at the top of the design in a cartoon style and press on the magic fill. And this should generate the text at the top of the design. And as you can see, we got the text that we wrote weekend mode and also there are four images that have been generated the last two are the ones that i like and and this time i'm going to use the, sh the rectangle shape to generate text i'm going to add i'm going to write add text at the bottom add text turtle vibes with some decorative elements at the bottom and then you can also choose the style design that you want but it won't probably matter much because it's using the it's using the generated image as a reference and as we can see the new text is being added with some decorative elements and if you press on the image you can see the four options that have been generated by Edugram. You can simply choose the one that you like. Again, this time I'm going to use the lasso tool. And I'm going to ask to change the font. 
just add text we can move in a noise font let's see what is going to to be generated and we got different variations of the text we can mode in different styles so if you don't like any of them you can simply delete or go back to the previous generation and as you can see that each generation is separated on different image and this is controlled by the the box that is highlighted every time you generate a new image so you can move all the generation separately on the canvas to get back to your original image like so so each time you have generated a new port you see that you have it separately until you go back to the original image and every time you press on any of the images even the ones that have been generated before you will see the four options that were generated with that prompt that was used at this image and if you press on this menu to the side you will you can download the the selected image in a png format in a high resolution you can later upscale it or remove the background separately and you can edit or you can rename your canvas from this menu and press on the plus sign to have a new canvas ready and this time we are going to try to upload two separate images and then combine them together so i have uploaded this image which i have generated in my previous video you can go back to the previous video to see how i generated this image and i'm going to add this cat to the design so a cat and a raccoon i'm going to place the cat to the background or send it to the back and while i have these two images together i'm going to adjust them to fit the same height like so and using the extend button i'm going to select the area that i want and i'm going to add a new prompt to combine both of them together so let's add add the text friends forever at the top of the design by the way i have the magic prompt option set on auto we can have it set on on or off but this generates um, or edits the prompt to a better one sometimes it works or and sometimes it doesn't so it's up to you to have it on or off and once i have my prompt ready i'm going to press on the extend button and you're going to get a new a complete new design with the two images merged together friends for forever cool vibes and you also get four different options and this time the images are combined in one design of course we still need to upscale this image and delete the background using other tools but this is how you can use the edugram canvas to combine designs together and edit your design or part of your design as you want so that was a quick tutorial if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe for future print on demand tutorials thanks for watching